As part of Alfred State's commitment to reduce its carbon footprint, we have established the Center for Organic and Sustainable Agriculture. Alfred State is now in the process of reconstructing the college farm to accommodate a new organic dairy herd. Part of this new construction is the COSA facility, which is said to be scheduled for completion in August 2012. The COSA facility will include a free stall barn that will house a herd of 60 organic dairy cows. Alfred State is also retaining their conventional herd to give a diverse field of opportunities for its agriculture students to study both conventional and free stall management systems. In a freestall barn, cows move around freely. They can eat, drink, rest, and exercise at their leisure. Instead of having specific feeding schedules, the cows can feed whenever. The truck alley runs the entire length of the barn. This is where the feed can be conveniently distributed. The bedding stalls also allow a cow to rest freely in comfort. These stalls do not have chains or any sort of constraint. The bedding consists of sawdust, which is easy to clean and keeps the cows comfortable. Another feature of the COSA facility will be a state-of-the-art robotic milker. With this system, the cows get milked when they want to and as many times a day as needed. Where the cows in a conventional barn are milked on a twice-a-day milking schedule. When a cow walks in, the robot identifies that specific cow and closes the gates. The robot uses a series of lasers or infrared cameras to pinpoint each teat. It then pre-dips and cleans each one. The robot then applies the milkers. When the milking is done, the robot post dips for prevention of infection. All of the data, such as milk output, can be observed on the robot's onboard computer, as well as the computers in the office. This system also detects if a particular cow has not yet been milked. The milk then makes its way to the lower section of the barn and into the bulk tank room. The tank is easily accessed on the open lower section of the barn. This lower section also houses an area for dry cows. Dry cows are the cows that are not yet being milked. This section, like the upper section, allows the cows to eat, drink, and exercise freely. There are also box stalls in this area to contain cows that are ready to give birth or cows that need to be treated. This facility will provide the opportunity for agriculture students to have a hands-on experience in a state-of-the-art facility. Free stall barns are becoming the new standard in dairy farming techniques. The design of this facility is to maximize comfort for the animals, which in turn maximizes productivity and efficiency.